the business has got a very small imagination, isn't it? It totally puts people in boxes and yeah, and, you've no, and you've never diversity them to is do that. and 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 being able to say I want to play all different mm -hmm. um, cultures, people, ideas, and I, w I but I need a visionary. I need somebody who's going to lead the, lead it because as an actor, but you see, you, you've directed. I've never directed. Yeah. I, I put like 18 months of my life, or long, but eight, solid 18 months of my life into making a film mm. that um, I think is a very good film and uh, mm. very proud of. Oh, yeah. But that, that American Pastoral. about 18 people went to see in the cinema. And um, that's, that's something that changed me in a way. I, mm. I, it really did. It's, it's, uh, you have a sort of um, connection with the work. I've always felt connected to my work and, and an ownership of it as an mm. actor. But, but if a film's not done very well in this box office or whatever, I just go, okay, well, I, I got something out of it and the experience was rich for me and it didn't really matter. But in this case, because it was a film that I'd made, mm. I found that that was very hard to deal with, the fact mm. that people didn't go and see, see it, uh, you know, a lot in the cinema. But that can be for so many reasons because, you know, as we all know now, it's so much about... Um, the corporate sort of and and the ability to promote things and get it right. out there and all I timing mean, and everything but it also it's also something to do with the kind of film it is i think mm -hmm. i mean i've thought about it a lot obviously mm -hmm. and i think it's it's the sort of movie that people go to see in the cinema less mm -hmm. and people are going to see um event movies and uh, horror films and films yeah. films that i think because now we've got such access to movies in our living rooms, in our homes, or mm. wherever we are, on our phones with our, our children's generation. You know, we put mm. all this time and effort into making these beautiful movies that kids are just going to watch on their fucking iPhone. Yeah. You know, and um, But, but hey, they're watching them. But at least they're watching them, and that's the thing. And, and uh, so maybe that changed my thinking a little bit about it as well, I th mm. I, I, about that it doesn't, that maybe having it seen in a cinema with lots of people isn't the be all and end all anymore. I don't know. I'll always love the cinema. So. And, I love going to see movies in the cinema. But that, as, as you say, I mean, certain films are going to be seen in the cinema. We're going to shoot certain films still on film, which yeah. is, I've just done two films on, on film. On film, lovely. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but also, ultimately, for the stories to reach people and, and somehow connect, how they reach them, does it really matter? Yeah. And we're lucky now because we've got things like Amazon where they're, yeah. where they're able to do theatrical releases and release on TV, I mean, is it ideal? We're not living in an ideal world, so yeah. no, but is it a fantastic opportunity? Yeah, yeah. so I yeah. suppose I'm always still the glass half full girl. Yeah, no, no, that's right. <laughs> no, that's good, because I always want to do that kind of work. I, I, don't, I don't want to, I don't want to do work that I, uh, my, what fires me is mm. the kind of work that we do, is that mm. about people and exploring human nature and how we deal with situations. And mm. I, I, it doesn't matter to me if I can like shoot fire out of my eyes or fly through the air. It matters mm. how, how do I deal with the situation in a, in a human way, you know. So yeah. I, if that kind of work is going into the television realm, I'll go with it, you know what I mean? I don't mind at all.